if this name aims new delhi gives you shivers on your spine then this video is for you in today's video i'm not just going to talk about which books to follow how much time you have to give to your studies rather i'm going to give you a very holistic approach on how you can reach into aims new delhi in neat 2024 but said the major question is that to reach into aims new delhi we have to cross a minimum score which is 650 and once you have crossed this minimum score then you can practice and reach to a score of 700 to 720 the question is that is it really possible now to score 650 plus first so my answer is yes but this answer comes with lots and lots of things first of all you have to do smart work hard work just only will not give you the rank hard work just only will not give you the marks so you have to work very smart and in today's video i am going to give you tips and tricks on how to study smart before that here i have some of the videos which is going to help you in subject wise preparation for biology chemistry and physics here are the video lists and i am going to give the links of these videos in the description box now let us come to those four hacks which you should follow so that you can score well in your neat examination number one thing that your routine should be very much consistent it should not like that today you have studied for 10 hours and then tomorrow you will be studying only for 5 hours so make a routine which should be very consistent a realistic daily routine it should not like that ki i'm going to complete electrostats also i'm going to complete ray optics also i am going to complete genetics also today this is really not possible so make a realistic routine which you can follow second thing is that subject allocate the subject in which you are we give more time to those subjects which you are we give more time to those topics in which you are we you need to make the prioritization here that is very very necessary and check your progress regularly give the mock test if you are not giving the mock test if you are not checking your progress all of the hard work will go into vain and you won't be able to know where you are lagging then the revision is also very very important and daily practice in biology what happens lots and lots of diagram based questions comes and we say we think that we are going to do it in the last of the last month of the preparation but during that month we have so much pressure that these easy diagram questions also we are forgetting so do it beforehand practice numericals for physics lots and lots of numericals just make a daily routine and say that i have to make 20 numericals daily so see if you are going to make 20 numericals for physics daily and you have 5 months you will be having lots and lots of numericals solved before the neat examination now you have done the routine and then you have to organize the information effectively you have to create a notes right yes that is very to create a notes if i am giving you the notes i am creating my notes on behalf of my perspective you should create your notes on behalf of your perspective maybe you are not understanding krebs cycle maybe i am understanding the krebs cycle so i am not writing much about the krebs cycle so what you have to do is that whatever topic you are not understanding make a good notes of those topics so that during the revision time you don't have to run and watch the video lectures rather you will open the notes and within 5 to 10 minutes everything will be revised make a flow chart and mind map it's very very helpful whatever you have learned just write it if you don't know how to make a flow chart just do it like this now say topic a you have learned the mitosis okay and in mitosis we have two phases interphase we have and m phase we have make it like this no fancy needed just make it now regular review of notes you have to like per week review your notes whatever you have studied and emphasize more on understanding just don't think that i will memorize everything the memory will not last long but the concepts will going to last long and this is going to help you in your neat examination third thing is that mock test these are very very necessary join a mock test purchase a test series and practice it regularly give it sometimes what i see in students that sir i am not very much prepared for this test i won't go and i won't give guys this is the worst thing which you are doing if you are not prepared at least you go and check the questions check it like if you have not prepared then also how much you are scoring you should never miss a test you should never miss a test i am repeating it again second thing is that learn from the past experiences whatever the previous year questions we have 
solve those previous year questions and identify the hot topics. There are some chapters from which selected topic gives you lots and lots of questions. So identify those topics and read those topics again and again. Revise those topics again and again, right? So, so these are the four things which you can apply in your study sessions and be ready for AIMS New Delhi. Second, sir, how many marks we need to go into AIMS New Delhi? How many ranks we want? need to go into AIMS New Delhi. So in 2023, if I talk about the round one, so the, for the general category, the rank was 57. For OBC, it was 255. And for SC, 989. And ST, 1624. So these are the marks of each and every AIMS colleges. You can screenshot it and prepare it accordingly. Next, what is the normal cutoff, sir? So normal cutoff for the AIMS New Delhi is what 50 percentile and 50 percentile lies between 720 to 137 marks which is what which is kind of for us has no values because to get into AIMS New Delhi at least you have to score 710 marks yes or no 710 715 716 these are the marks which you have to score to get into AIMS New Delhi. Below 700, so AIMS Delhi is no chance. Now see here, if I talk about the subject-wise analysis for 2023, so there were what? In any question, we have three types of question, questions, right? Easy, medium, and hard. Now see here, if I talk about the easy questions, 34, 34, 37, 34, these are the number of easy questions which we are getting. At least focus on these marks. See, if you just solve the easy questions, you would have got 556. So once do the easy part, then go into the medium. And when medium questions were 14, 13, 12, 16. If you do the easy and medium, your selection is to guaranteed. And now just you have to talk, focus on the difficult questions. And if you are able to win these difficult questions, AIMS Delhi is your thing. So first of all, focus on the easy question then go into the medium question and then practice the hard question first of all secure your these marks 556 marks 600 marks first of all secure and then think about the preparation for the hard question this is what you need to follow what we do is that we start solving hc verma we start solving dc pande and we ignore ncrt and you're not doing the basic then how you are able to go and solve the hard questions so think about it and Prepare yourself accordingly. First easy, then medium, then hard. Next what? Next I'm going to give you some of the additional tips. Some of the students read NCRT very wrong. They just read like this. We have a pair of external nostrils opening above, uh, out above the upper lips. It leads to a nasal chamber through the nasal passage. Just we are reading. When you are reading the NCRT, read it like this. We have a pair of external nostrils opening out above the upper lips. Here is a question where it is opening where the external nostrils is opening above the upper layer and it leads to a nasal chamber where where it leads to nasal chamber from which through the nasal passage le learn and revise ncrt like this if you are going to revise it ncrt like this you are going to develop questions in your own mind and when you are going to see the questions in your exam your brain will strike the answers very quickly. This is what toppers do. This is how they are able to solve biology in 40 minutes, biology in 30 minutes because they have this practice and if you are not going to do these kind of practice, solving biology will be also very hard and time consuming in your NEET examination. Now the major question is that sir, how many uh, hours we should study? So let's suppose that you are a school going student or you are a dropper. Minimum on weekdays you have to give what you have to give six hours and on sundays which is weekends maybe saturdays also give as many as hours as, as possible so let's suppose on monday you are following three hours for physics you are giving uh, two hours to chemistry and give one hour to biology all the three subjects we have done and for one hour question practice but you might be having a confusion that sir what about chemistry and biology we are giving so less time so next day you give more time to biology you give more time to chemistry you give less time to physics so you have to divide the chapters and the number of dates according to you divide it and let me know in the comment section i'll guide you if there is any mistake in your 
daily routine. Now on Sundays, guys, keep three hours for the test. Yes, that is very, very necessary. One hour for the analysis and backlog and revision, three hours. NCRT reading two hours, which is also very necessary. We generally ignore NCRT of physics and chemistry. At least for physics, guys, revise the summary. Read the summary again and again. Chemistry to for organic and inorganic, it's a must. Don't leave the NCRT. I'm saying you again, don't leave the NCRT. NC, as much as importance you give NCRT for biology, give that importance to chemistry also. Next, distraction stuff. Distractions is a very, very big thing which is coming in our way. So first of all, make a study plan. So if you're going to have a study plan, you tend to have some deadlines and you will be wasting your time little less. Now, turn off all your electronics before studying. Yes, if you are studying, switch off your mobile phone. Switch off the Instagram. If you can't switch off the mobile phone, log off. Log off from all social media. Log in again after you have studied because the notifications which we get is what is deteriorating our concentration this is very very necessary time use timers for the breaks like whenever you are taking a break start this uh, stopwatch so that you know that okay i have taken the break for five minutes i have taken the break for 10 minutes now i need to go screen time you should limit See, nowadays, this thing is little less possible because you are reading through laptop, you are reading for your mobile phone, but every 40 to 45 minutes, give it a break to your eyes, close your eyes for just two minutes or one minute and again start because continuously, if you are focusing on screen, it will also affect your eyes. Create a to-do list before doing anything. Create a to-do list that today I have to do this, this, this. Let's suppose that you have to bring vegetables for the, from the market also. Write it in your to-do list. You should know whatever, what, what work you are doing, right? Avoid negative friends, guys. There are some friends, he will be, they will be like, Arre, yaad chalna, aadhe ghande ka toh baat hai. Kal kar lena ye chapter. Arre, bohat din hai. Avoid these kind of friends. I'm not saying that ki dosti hi tod do, but limit them. Don't unko apne upar haabhi mat hone do. That will create lots and lots of problem to you. You stick to your plan. You say that I will go at 7 o'clock. If it is fine for you, then okay. If not, I'll go alone. This should be your attitude. Now, be your own mirror. I should not be the one who are, is judging you. Your parents should not be the one who should judge you. You should be the only person you are able to judge you. And said how we are going to judge ourselves. So, here I'm going to give you a chart. And you need to do the take the screenshot of it. Suppose that today is 21 and you have completed biotechnology. Okay. And, and you have seen the lecture. One time you have seen, make a one line. Question practice done, make a one line. If you have done the revision, let's suppose on 23rd you are going to do the revision. So right on 23rd November you did the revision. Like this you make a chart. And at the end, let's suppose it's 1st December and you need to check your progress. So you might be having what lots and lots of topic lists, how many times you have watched the lectures, how many questions you have practiced, how many times you have done the revision. So this data you will be having and on 1st of December you decided to revise. So you are going to pick those topics in which you have done the minimum revision. This is how you have to study, this is how you have to do. And when you are able to follow all these things, I can say that you are ready to crack neat and you are ready to secure your 650 marks first and then study hard, practice hard questions so that you can increase your marks to 700 to 720 so that you can land into your favorite college, Ames New Delhi. See you everyone in the Ames New Delhi and wishing you all the very best. Subscribe to this channel for more academic contents and latest news regarding the NEET 2024 and for the one-shot series. Till then, bye-bye everyone. See you in the next video.